Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is another perfume haul. So if you guys saw my last video, I did a declutter because I am picking up more perfumes. I will say that I am going to be slowing down just a little bit just because I really want to enjoy these perfumes that I have been picking up. But I, I'm, you guys, I love buying perfumes so the hauls will not stop. So I have seven to go over. Five of them I did pick up at a really good price on either FragranceNet or eBay. And then the other two I did pick up at a department store but I picked them up half off so the last two i'm gonna mention are probably perfumes that you've been seeing hauled a lot because they are a little bit more on the pricier side and macy's was having a sale and i'll go over that but let's go ahead and hop into the haul okay so first up i did pick up capri coast by express and this was just you know my fra fragrance friends we were all talking about this perfume can't really remember who mentioned this specific one. I know someone did, but Takara has said that it was um, on sale on eBay. So, so this is compared to the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I would say that it smells pretty close to it, just a more fruitier version. I pick up the salt and the pistachio and the caramel i find the brazilian crush spray to be very warm summer gourmand whereas this is like a summer gourmand but with like a fruity twist but it has pistachio pear pink pepper middle notes of raspberry blossom magnolia and then base notes of vanilla bean sandalwood tonka bean and amber so there are similar notes to this and the brazilian crush but the brazilian crush doesn't have like the pear and the raspberry and i do pick up the fruit in this perfume and it reminds me of something i've had before i i can't put my finger on it and it's killing me but it does remind me of something that i've had this is a very nice beachy fruity gourmand i would say i haven't really tested this out like the longevity but this is a really good cheapie and again that's capri coast by express okay and then next i did pick up the tester of alien fusion and this is an oriental floral I'm really enjoying the Alien Flankers. This one's a little bit more spicy, cinnamon, but this one is described as white floral, warm spicy, amber, tuberose, vanilla, and balsamic. So this does have notes of ginger and amber. There's vanilla in here. I wanted it because of the ginger. I had picked up Twilly the Anmes, and I love that ginger scent, so I wanted um, more ginger. There's this zestiness in here, and it's very soft, spicy. So this is a soft, spicy version of Alien. I would say that Oh Sublime does smell more like Alien, but this one's really good. The longevity on this one isn't as long lasting, but I do get about five to six hours out of this one. It just sits very close to the skin. Like Alien for me is a beast and I would say that the flankers aren't as strong, but I really do enjoy this one. And again, that's Alien Fusion. And then next, you guys know, I had picked up the small travel of Narciso Rodriguez Pure Musk. So I did get the 50 ml. This is described as musky, floral, powdery, woody, and amber. And I don't get the amber too much in this one. I tested it out only a couple times, so I would have to see, but this for me is just a very clean, floral, musky scent. Very feminine, not too heavy. There's musk, floral, and cashmere in here. And I don't like floral heavy scents, but I do love musk scents. And I just find the Narciso line to do amazing uh, musk perfumes and this is another pretty one this is just a, again just very clean light airy and there's something about it that's just very like vintage to me this has a very i don't want to say i don't i don't like saying grandma vibes but it reminds me of my childhood it just has this like vintage feel to it and i really enjoy it so Again, that's Narciso Rodriguez for her, pure musk. Okay, then next we have Dolce & Cabana's Light Blue Sun. 
And you guys know I don't have a Dolce & Gabbana light blue in my collection because it was my marketing director, my old boss's scent. But when I heard that Sun had a more coconutty beach vibe, I got it. And I'm so happy I got this one. This one has a Dolce & Gabbana's light blue DNA, but the lemon isn't sharp because it has a very uh, lemon heavy opening. So it's not as sharp. And this does have like a coconut sun tanny vibe to it but like in but like not overly heavy like this isn't an overly heavy sun tanny scent but you could definitely get it it's light blue on the beach and it's really good so i am happy with this one and this one is described as citrus coconut ozonic floral fruity and fresh mm. this is a really nice summer scent so, I would say if you don't like Dolce & Gabbana's light blue because of that lemon, you might want to try this one. This one, the lemon isn't as strong. And again, it's not overly coconut. I was hoping for a little bit more of a coconut scent. It's like a, think of like a coconutty suntan lotion, but not strong. You put on light blue and then you spray a suntan lotion on your body. That's what this smells like, but a lighter version of that combo. Okay, and then next I picked up Chloe Nomad. Now, I've been wanting to add Chloe, the original, and Nomad both to my collection because they're just beautiful, classy, like timeless scents in my opinion. But I got this because Jeanne always talks about Nomad on her channel. And that's why I pulled the trigger on this one. They had a really good deal on eBay, I think it was. Either eBay or freaking snap. I can't remember. But this is just a very beautiful, clean, classy scent. This could be a signature scent. And I had uh, samples of Chloe the original and then Nomad. So I've always wanted them, but they weren't anything that I needed to have right away. But then Jane was always talking about it and I put Chloe on hold and I went ahead and got this one. But this is described as woody, fruity, citrus, floral, and earthy. And this does have like citrus. Again, citrus pulls a lot on my skin. And there is an oak moss note in here. Again, this is something that could be a signature scent. But there's something about this that makes this unique. And I think it's the oak moss note in here. It just makes it earthy, but not like patchouli earthy. It's like another kind of earthy. It's just very classy, fresh, clean scent. It's really good. Glad that this one's in my collection. All right, the last one I'm really excited about. I did pick up a couple of the Victor and Roth Magic Perfumes, and both of these were blind buys, and they both worked out so well. I will say that I did pick up Liquid Diamonds, and that one did not work out for me. I never return a perfume. I just pass it on, or I, I try and sell it. But Macy's was willing to take it back, so. I did return that one, but I did pick up Dancing Roses at Macy's when they were having, I think it was either 40 or 50% off. And then I missed out on Sage Spell, but then Victor and Roth had their sale going on. So I was able to pick it up. Now I did pick up Sage Spell because of Anna Absolute. When she said that it was just a clean, fresh citrus scent that her dude could wear, I was like, I want it. Because I've been really into rose scents and I've been really into unisex scents. I don't know why. But let's go ahead and start with Dancing Roses. This scent tells a story. Dancing Roses, I have been wearing since I got it. And this scent is uh cherry liqueur i do wish that the opening on, of this scent lasted a little bit longer because the opening of this is just to die for but this scent is described as fruity sweet rose warm spicy and nutty i'm gonna go over these a little bit more because these two scents are just they're absolutely stunning dancing roses has notes of rose pink pepper lychee saffron cherry and brandy and this opens up like cherries soaked in brandy. Oh my god, so good. 
And then when it dries down, there is like this moment where it does pull a little bit medicinal on my skin, but then that goes away and I start getting more of the pink pepper and the rose. After a few hours, this does start to resemble Delina, but not as tangy. So Delina, but without that tart rhubarb note. Like it gives off Delina vibes. And this perfume is a beast. This perfume projects at least a beautiful sillage and it lasts until the next day. And it again, it tells a story. It opens up very um, boozy. It has that cherry. It's like a cherry liqueur almost. Just a very juicy, boozy cherry. And then again on my skin, it does... I guess when it changes and, and the liquor starts to kind of die off on me, it does come become a little bit medicinal, but then the rose and the, the pink pepper come through. And then I think it's the rose and the lychee that, that's giving off like that Delina vibe when it develops even more. <sighs> this perfume is, like the name implies, dancing roses. It's like a night out, honestly. I can't wait to wear this perfume out because I think this with like the heat of your body and going out would be absolutely stunning. I am really happy with, with this scent. I'm happy that I got this pretty decent sized bottle. I do think that is a scent that I would have invested the 140 after trying it just because this was a love at first sniff. It just, it did a lot of weird things. It was a little bit of an up and down, but when I sprayed this, I was like, oh my God. That cherry opening with that booziness to it. You guys know I love my boozy scents. Oh, so good. Then I, I started to get a little worried with that like medicinal that started happening. But then it went into the whole rose and then the Delina vibe. And you guys know I love Delina. This perfume is so good. And again, that is Dancing Roses. And just so you can see how it is packaged. Came with this little card. I mean, the packaging on this is stunning. And I got this half off with tax and everything. It came up to $82. So totally worth it in my opinion. This one I would have paid the, the higher price, the higher price tag. Then I got Liquid Diamonds. And that one was a very bougie dryer sheet. And I, I just didn't care for that one. So I was a little disappointed that I didn't get my hands on Salty Flower and Sage Spell. So then Victor and Rolf afterwards had, had the same sale. And I did end up picking up Sage Spell on a blind buy. Again, after I saw Anna Absolute talk about this one, I knew I wanted to add it to my collection. And that one actually came with little gifts. I was able to get their little discovery set, so I am going to be going through this line in more detail at a later date. And I did get this Magic Tricks. So I did, I did get these free when I got my Sage Spell. So it was almost worth it getting it more on the Victor and Rolf site. But they didn't go on sale until after Macy's had, had it on sale. This one is so good but it's not for everyone this is a unisex scent that leans more masculine but here is again the gorgeous packaging these are going to live in my drawer because they will not see the light of day and then this is sage spell you can't tell but the liquid on here so on dancing roses the liquid is like a little bit of a pinky brown color and then this one is like a yellow green color and the bottle design on these are just beautiful. There's like bubbles in here. And then it says magic on this side and Victor and Rolf on this side. And it's got the Victor and Rolf little tab here. This is a gorgeous scent for both men and women. And this one is described as aromatic, fresh, spicy, herbal, soft, spicy, patchouli, and green. So this has notes of pink grapefruit, pink pepper, sage, spicy mint, patchouli, and warm wood. The patchouli in here is very well blended. Like it isn't like your dirty patchouli. This is very minty. You pick up the sage and the mint in here a lot. Um, the citrus in here. This is so clean and fresh. This lasts like a good eight to 10 hours on my skin until the next day. I don't know if it would last more because again, I take a shower, but definitely, you know, eight to 10 hours and it lasts on my clothes until I wash my clothes. This is a really good clean scent, 
but you have to be into men's fragrances because this one, although unisex, does pull a little bit more masculine than it does feminine. And even though there isn't lime in here, it smells like limes. Like where a lot of my perfumes smell like lemon, this smells more of lime and mint. <sighs> like a refreshing mojito. I'm so happy that I got both of these marked down for the price of one. Like that makes me so happy. <laughs> these are these are cocktails to me. This is like a very refreshing mojito, very minty, and then this is just a boozy cherry. Oh my god. And I can't wait to wear these out. They are so good. They're not safe blind buys. If you can get samples, if you can get a discovery set, they have a discovery set like at Sephora. You can get your points. I would definitely say this is a line you're gonna wanna try out. I did test out Salty Flower. It's one that I would pick up at half the cost again. That is one I wouldn't pay full price for. This is one that I would definitely pay full price for. This perfume to me is worth it. I would say um, Sage Spell is unique enough. Uh, maybe I would pull the trigger on it. This is good too if you, you know, you and your significant other don't mind sharing perfumes. I probably wouldn't share this with Dennis, but both really good scents. So yeah, guys, that was my haul. Let me know, do you guys have any of these perfumes? What are your recent hauls? And that will do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like me and haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed. Click the notification bell so you know when I upload. And until next time, guys.